13 constipation relievers that actually work. Let's go. Pun intended. Number one, drink more water. Seems ridiculous out of the gates. Very simple, but your colon is absorbing a lot of your water. If you didn't drink a lot, then that stool is going to get really dried out at the end and means it's not going to come out very well. Carbonated water actually helps out a little bit better to get things moving as well, but half your body weight in ounces a day in fluids. Make sure you're absorbing it by getting electrolytes in. Number two, a salt water flush. Huh? Your body, when you do a salt water flush, and there's resources for this in our communities, um, you actually drink a quart of salt water. So you add a tablespoon or two of salt water, one tablespoon is a significant amount, uh, to actual just water, 24 ounces, and then you drink that down. I actually do this as a part of a cleanse where you flush in the morning and then drink juices the rest of the day. It's a good way to do it. Um, if it's your first time doing it, if you have blood pressure problems or kidney problems, I probably wouldn't recommend that one out of the gates, but a salt water flush is a good way to flush the inside because the water, being that it contains so much salt, doesn't get absorbed, so it just pushes straight through your system. It's a good way to cleanse the inside of your digestive tract, a salt water flush. Number three, we wanna eat more fiber. There's different types of fiber and you eat them for different reasons. So fiber number one is insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber is present in wheat and vegetables and whole grains. This is gonna add more bulk to your stool and it's gonna help them pass more quickly and easily through the digestive system. So if you need more bulk to the stool uh, so it's not coming out just in little little chunks and you want it to more easily move through the digestive system then you want to focus on insoluble fibers which means eating more vegetables would be the easiest way to get that in the other second type of fiber is soluble fiber soluble fiber is going to be found more in beans nuts seeds peas and some fruits and vegetables but i would stick more with beans and seeds and nuts unless you have a sensitivity to those these are going to absorb more water and form a gel like paste in the digestive system which oftentimes softens the stools improves consistency so if you need more bulk just to get things moving through you and feels like it's all kind of backing up insoluble fiber if you need more kind of you know to mushy it it's getting too dried out at the end so that it hurts when it comes out then you want to add more soluble fiber beans nuts seeds to help soften that up non-fermentable soluble fibers such as psyllium husk are the best choice for taking care of constipation in fact one review in 2020 found that psyllium husk to be three and a half times more effective than insoluble fiber or like wheat bran for constipation. So psyllium husk, soluble fiber, making it more of a gel-like substance, allowing things to move through the digestive system uh, at a better rate for constipation might be the way to go. Psyllium husk can easily be found at your local grocery store. You could add it into a smoothie, you could add it into water. It even has a gel-like paste when you do add it to water, but it would be a good one to get some extra fiber into your system. Otherwise, I recommend chia or flax seeds to a smoothie to help get that extra fiber in or some spinach added to your smoothie. Smoothie, Another easy way to get these insoluble and soluble fibers in to get you moving, flushed out, and less dry. Number four, we gotta move more. We don't wanna overdo it when we're constipated, but going for a simple walk just to get some mobility. If you are having constipation issues, obviously you're still eating during the day. Um, I would, if you're having a dinner, let's say you've been constipated all day, you have dinner, I would move after dinner just to try to get that food moving, that mobility in there helps that digestive system, helps the blood flow of the digestive system to get things moving along. So let's exercise and move more, not high, high, high intensity or extreme duration exercise, but we're talking just movement simple as walking. Number five is drinking more coffee, especially caffeinated coffee. A study in 1998 found that caffeinated coffee can stimulate the gut in the same way that a meal can, and that the effect was 60% stronger than water, 23% stronger than decaffeinated coffee at getting the digestive system moving. It actually relaxes the little pathway, the little gate right up here where your esophagus meets your stomach. And that little gate right there will be relaxed. It's the esophageal sphincter that will allow emptying into the stomach and movement of your digestive tract. Now, if you have acid reflux, sometimes that cannot be a comfortable thing for you. But assuming that we're just talking about constipation here, it would be a good way with a nice warm drink, organic caffeinated coffee, so you're not taking on the chemicals to get the system moving in the morning. My favorite is the Dr. Living Good Coffee with healthy fats added. I put that recipe below for you. Number six is senna. It's an herbal laxative. It contains plant com compounds called glycosides, and they stimulate the nerves in the gut that help speed up bowel movements. You can buy this in a simple organic tea. Usually it's called smooth move. 
nice naming. Uh, and that T, you don't want to overdo it. Uh, I would avoid it when you're in the middle of pregnancy. Other than that, you can try it for a few days. Don't use it consistently over time. You don't want to get reliant on stimulating your nerves to empty your digestive tract, but you want that to naturally happen. But if you are a little stopped up or perhaps you're doing some kind of detox protocol, that's a good one to turn to and that's when I would use it. Number seven are probiotics. You need the good bacteria inside your gut. You have more bacteria in you than you do cells. Kind of disgusting, but very important when it comes to moving the bowels along. A 2019 review found that taking probiotics for just two weeks can help take care of and treat constipation, increasing stool frequency and stool consistency. My favorite probiotic foods are sauerkraut, kombucha, and apple cider vinegar. Adding those into your diet, you're gonna get ample amounts of probiotics, especially if you drink the juice of sauerkraut. If that's not that appetizing, then I would supplement with it and get a proper pre, pro, and postbiotic blend. The link for that is below if you need more information on it. Speaking of prebiotics, number eight is prebiotics. This is the food that probiotics feed off of to get your digestive system going, to cultivate the good compounds that probiotics released called postbiotics. So prebiotics, are fibers that improve digestive health. And they bolster this gut bacteria, chicory root, artichokes, garlic, onions, leeks, chickpeas, not the most appetizing menu, but those are fantastic prebiotics to add to any meal to feed the good bacteria in your gut to stimulate mobility. Number nine way to combat constipation, let's get to the source. Oftentimes our gut is fighting inflammation or invasion or is dealing with toxicity. So it really needs a reset. So eating an anti-inflammatory way of eating is gonna calm down the inflammation that your gut is trying to fight. 80% of the immune inflammation inside of your body is due to your gut and what's going on with your gut. So let's remove the foods that irritate it. So it's an anti-inflammatory meal approach and then go through a six step process to reset your gut. I did an entire training on how to do this reset, more on that in a few moments. Let's get to number 10 though. Number 10 is konjac root, also known as glucomannan. I love glucomannan. In one study in children, it found that 45% of those taking glucomannan experienced relief from severe constipation, compared to only 13% in the control group. So it's just three times more effective than not doing anything at eliminating constipation in children and in adults. So glucomannan is a great way to help to bind things, food together, unstick them, get toxins out of the system, keep your, keep your blood sugar down and move it through the system. If you need a glucomannan powder to perhaps add to a smoothie or add to your food really easily for yourself or for the kids, my kids have this one as well, that link is below for you. Number 11 is magnesium. Taking moderate amounts of magnesium supplements or magnesium in the food form can really help relieve constipation. In fact, doctors often prescribe higher doses of it in order to prepare you or to clean out your bowels if they're gonna do a surgery or some kind of medical procedure. So we know it is clinically used to move the bowel system along. Magnesium citrate's a good source, many sources of magnesium. Black beans I really like to get the system moving. Uh, spinach is another good one. There's a lot of great sources of magnesium. Check out the video below if you wanna know 20 foods that are high in magnesium that you could be putting in your diet to help out your gut. Speaking of food in your diet to help out your gut, let's get to the last two. Number 12, prunes. Prunes, good old fashioned prunes. Some studies show that prunes may be more effective than fibers like psyllium husk that we talked about at moving the digestive system around. So the effective dosage may be around 50 grams. This is gonna be somewhere around seven medium-sized prunes twice a day. It's not ideal for IBS because the sugar content, but if you are plugged up, prunes might be your way out. Finally, speaking of getting plugged up, dairy. Gotta avoid it. A lot of people are intolerant to eating it creates constipation, a lot of extra air and gas in the system. It's very hard on the bowel movement. So if you are constipated, cut out all forms of dairy, at least for a period of time and allow your body to recover. So there you have it, 13 ways that you can naturally move your digestive system along that really do work. A lot of times the underlying cause has just been a beat up immune system and a beat up gut, creating a lot of inflammation in the body over a long period of time. It needs proper resetting. So to teach you how to do that in a six step process, I've made this training right here. Check it out.